And Michael, when you look at some of the camps, I know you weren't able to open, um, but when you look at some of the, the overnight camps that were able to open, what successes were you able to see? And maybe where did you find some missteps that you can then say, hey, we don't want to do that? Yeah, one of the great things about our industry is that we've really come together and we've really worked together to share all the different ideas. We've spent numerous hours on Zoom calls with the camps that opened and they were able to share a lot of information with us. So we've literally spent the last several months picking apart our entire procedure from the moment the, the staff arrive uh, to the moment the children arrive to our program. And we're sort of going through each area to try to make sure that we're prepared, uh, sort of put together a worst case scenario. And as we get closer to the summer, now we still have three months and a lot's gonna change between now and then. I mean, we've all seen this. We've, uh, we've seen changes almost weekly now. Uh, so we're really planning for the worst, but we know we can always peel back the layers as we get closer to the summer and give the campers as much of a traditional summer as possible. And I know we were, Michael, also talking about that New York Times article that took a look at some of the summer camps and how well they fared because those kids were always staying together and they weren't going home at the end, end of the day and kind of mixing with anyone else. Uh, yes, absolutely. And that's something that's so key. Uh, the reality is, is we thought last year there was no reason why we couldn't open because we felt safer at camp than just about anywhere else. We sort of form our own little island, if you will, our own little world up in camp. And uh, our plan, even this summer, is once we get everybody up to camp, we want to, once you're there, you stay. And we create our own little world. So that way, uh, once we've kind of gone through plenty of protocols, we'll be able to have a safe summer.